When the riders reach the top of the Col de Montgenèvre today, they're going to come past rocks that we rarely get to see, but not because they're uncommon. In fact, 70% of the Earth's crust consists of that stuff. That is the ocean floor. But normally it's hidden below four or five kilometers of seawater. Now, I would love to take you up there to show those rocks to you, but we can't reach them. But luckily, there are a few big samples around the corner. Oceanic crust forms at volcanoes, but not those conical shapes that you know, but very long mountain belts that form at the bottom of the ocean, for instance in the Atlantic, thousands of kilometers long. And what happens there is that two plates spread apart, and the mantle rocks underneath, they rise up slowly and they melt a little bit, and the melt accumulates in big magma chambers and volcanoes at the top. Now this rock formed in one of those magma chambers. And it cooled very slowly, making large black and white crystals. And when rocks like this cool down, they become denser than the mantle, and they want to sink into it. That happens at subduction zones, where one plate dives into the mantle below another plate. That was in the stars for this rock. It should now be sinking away a thousand kilometers below our feet. But this one didn't. Somehow it ended up in a car park. So something special must have happened. Now the oceanic crust that we just saw lies on top of these light-colored rocks behind me. These make up, for instance, the Col de Galibier, and they formed part of a continent. And that tells us what happened. A subduction zone formed within an ocean, and one slab of oceanic crust went below the other. Now, oceans don't continue forever, and attached to this ocean was the continent of France. So sooner or later, that continent arrived in the subduction zone and went down. But it wasn't particularly happy to do so, so it got sliced up. Those slices make the Alps, and they jacked up the ocean. And that's why the riders today have to climb two kilometers up to arrive in a four kilometer deep ocean. We really hope that you're enjoying our clips of the geology of the Tour de France and other cycling races, and we love bringing it to you. And there's plenty where that came from, but we can't do it without your financial support. So click on the link, consider a donation, and we hope to see you next year.